and welcome to Historic Trinity Episcopal Cathedral in the heart of downtown San Jose. My name is Julia. I have the privilege of serving as Dean of this Cathedral community. And in that capacity, it is my delight to welcome you to the worship of God on this second Sunday of Christmas. And let us begin, as people always do, with prayer. Almighty God, you have poured upon us the new light of your incarnate word. Grant that this light, enkindled in our hearts, may shine forth through our lives, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Along with the joy of the newborn Jesus, we gather this day to continue celebrating our faith. At the finish of every year, it is good to thank God for everything we have received. Although many of us, and each day with this thanking God, Today, I invite you to do it as a community. Let's think for a moment that we thank God for so many blessings received during this year. For example, I want to thank God for having the opportunity to serve you in this congregation, a place where I have learned many things, and surely many other things that I still need to learn. I am grateful to be among you. I feel blessed because we have many good resources that other congregations do not have. I admire and value being part of the team of people very interested in serving the most vulnerable and needy people among us. I am grateful that I can enjoy the choir its music, all the resources that make us touch the sky in each celebration with the angelical songs that the, they present to us. This implies a large investment of time, effort, and a clear commitment by all of our musicians to use their music, musical gifts for the glory of God. I thank the group of ushers, and greeters, who always give us a warm welcome, who make us feel at home, 
who offer us the bulletin and the resources that will help us pay attention to the celebrations. So that our goal is to have a personal encourage and encounter with God. I think everyone who contributes to producing the bulletins and who ensure that these bulletins are complete and rich here and that they are able to everyone in two languages. I thank those who do us the favor of baking and bringing and sharing the bread, cookies, and coffee so that we all have a good time in the parish hall. I thank everyone who leaves their comfortable bed to come in person and celebrate the world that feed our spirit and motivate us to move forward week after week. I thank those who accompany us to read the word. It is may seems like it is something simple to do, but I want to tell you that it is a wonderful gift because after my experience with indigenous people who do not read and do not speak our languages, it is wonderful to be able to enjoy this wonderful resource, resource with great readers. I am grateful to have a place to celebrate together with heating and a roof that cover us from the inclement weather when some place do not have it. I am grateful to have a job that teach me to enjoy the simple and humble things that each each of you have taught me. I believe it's time, as the prophet Isaiah says, in which I rejoice in the Lord for everything I have received in this time of salvation. That is why we sing praise to you, the Lord, because he encourages us, saves us, and rejoices us with his word. It is wonderful to see how our church is built with the collaboration of each and every one of us. There is someone who keeps clean, who helps someone, who repairs everything that is damaged. We have security guards who try to keep it safe. We can say that we all collaborate to make this possible. Now, our challenge is to prepare our spirit to remain motivated for next year. Different times are coming. It will certainly be a year full of challenges, and that is what shall motivate us to be like John the Baptizer, witness of the light that we have received in the Jesus birth. I invite you all to dream together and work together to realize those dreams. I motivate you to continue being grateful and to walk with the new vision, vision that help us create in our congregations a space where joy, love and peace are animated by the light that has come to us from heaven and that illuminates us in our walk. Let us each take the time to leave a space of silence and personal reflection. This is so that each one of us within ourselves can speak with the child God and be grateful for all the good things that we have received through our faith during all this time. Let us now be illuminated with the presence of the light of Christ who announces the word of God to us today. And let us say it together, Thank you, thank you, Lord, for everything you have given us until now and for everything that you will give us in the new year. Happy New Year in the Lord. Amen.